guys, back at you with another video. On this particular one is on a uh, um, adjustment on the or a customization on the Lauren pack basket. Um, the customization attaches to the way the straps attach to the pack basket that go around. So I took some extra large clips or um, quick lens from F and T. What we're gonna do is attach my pack my axe to the outside so I save room on the inside. I put it through the webbing, put some paracord on there. I took the paracord, wrapped the tag in six times around the main cord, the drawstring as you want to call it, and it took the made sure the wraps were loose. Took it went um went from the bottom through all the loops up in out the main hole here down right and then when you came out and you went back down i went around the outside and took the tag in through that loop a couple times and went through the loop a couple times and then what you have is kind of my own knot but it's a drop knot and what reason to do all the loops is to secure it so it doesn't then you have a little tag in here to tighten it if you need to but uh you have your own draw knot the most important thing is going around the main line four or five times and going back up through it Right? And then coming out and go through your big loop. Then you do whatever you want. That's just the main thing. But it turns into a slip knot. And uh, you leave, make sure you don't cut the tag end off because the tag end will tighten it. Now it doesn't it doesn't loosen up where it's not gonna unravel because I went through the loop enough times where it's secure. And you see it's plenty secure there. Um plenty secure there. Um it's kinda hard to see, but yeah, I went through, went around, went through the loop. And in the end, both tag ends, the one that goes up to the main loop comes out the same side. Um, so basically it makes, if you look at it, it makes a claw almost around the outside. And uh, it grips the tie. I'm not gonna show you how to do the knot because it's kind of winged it, but what it does, you can do it, you can build your own knot, it's easy. But going around, taking the tag end, going around the main one four or five times, going up through it, which will secure it, and then back around it through the, um, loose knot and pull it tight and then you can do a few other do hickeys if you want but it, what it would do is keep it tight like i said don't cut the tag end off because that's how you tighten the main knot to the um cord but now you have a draw string right here of course you gotta loose it's not like you can pull on it it won't come undone when you just pull on it so the weight of the axe won't loosen it right you actually have to manually undo it. Which, yeah, it's a little bit labor intensive, but at the same time, your axe won't go flying off and you won't lose your axe. A clasp doesn't have enough um, grip. Like I went around the main one four or five times. It doesn't have enough grip. Like to, It only goes around once and it slides too easy. So going around with paracord, it grips the uh, knot, grips the main one so tight that it doesn't slide out on its own. Um, so that's where... Paracord wrap is better than a clasp and um, a clasp and metal and then a pack banging it against each other doesn't work very well. Um, it breaks and then when you break the clasp, the, this all falls off and you lose your axe and you could be tracking miles and next thing you know, you look back and where the hell is my axe? And you're like, what happened to my axe? Where is it? And Or you track and then you, re you reach back there like I got my axe and you need it, right? It's not there. Or you feel a weight change after a while. And you're like, what the heck? Something feels odd. You pull it off and your axe is gone. Never use a clasp to tighten something that's heavy like an axe. That's a two and a half pound, three pound or bigger axe. Because it's going to fall off and break. And you, it just, It's just too heavy for a clasp. I don't care if you have metal clasp, plastic clasp. It's too heavy. Especially plastic clasps. They will break. Um, th that's why I use paracord. I was going to make one out of cable. But, uh. Just make a um, loop out of cable and hammer it shut and just slide it in and out. But I thought, you know, if I just put it in a hole and I fall or something, or something happens, it slides out and it's gone anyways. Um, so that's why I did the uh, paracord thing so I can tighten and loosen it. I had some extra 550 paracord I had sitting around, some black stuff. Um, the pack is already black and green, and so the black goes good. So what I'm going to do, pull the tag in, keep it tight. Now I'm just keep I'm tightening it here. I'm setting the tightness. I'm not. It's not loosening, 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 loosening. If you're worried about that, go around again. Go around the outside. Go through here and 
through one of the original loops or something like that and it'll get a lot tighter. I simply went around there and threw, made it overhand knot essentially around it without tightening it and now it's twice as tight. So it, because what it does, what I, what I did is I added, basically I'll show you. I went, took the tag end, went around, this, this is the one that slides, went around it, made overhand knot, pulled it tight. What that did is added more surface area to the sliding knot, which adds more tension. So, more tension on the main one, more friction. So the friction is what keeps it tight. And that's what um, makes it a little stiffer. But if you need it a little looser, it's undo one. Or if you need tighter, add a few more loops. Um, it's simple. I think I got it down where I got the kind of wrapped around um, through a few loops, through a few loops, and then in the end it went through back out one of the main loops, um, one of the original loops. And what that did is it makes a claw and kind of grasps it. I'll call it like a claw knot or a shell knot because it looks like a shell, but it's pretty darn tight. I want it. I want to be worried to put my axe in here, right? Get it in there, cinch it down real tight and I wouldn't worry about um, the fact that it uh, that it, I want to worry about um, it's not a fact I want to worry about it coming undone because if you pull on this I put it on there it's not it's not coming undone I'm even yanking on it. it's not un, it's not loosening much so it works and uh, keep it tight you need, I'm gonna leave some tag end right here so I can go around the main base wrap around the handle axe a few times down to the base and take the base right and put a overhand knot down by the base like I did on the main slip knot and what that's gonna do some of you may see it some of you not or half hitch it there's a half hitch right there and take this half hitch and put it I'm gonna experiment with this put it back through the loop so potentially preventing the axe from swinging around. So I got to experiment with that, but if I come up, come up with something, you guys are going to see it here first. And uh, so yeah, so come around, something like that, half hitch. If you ever half hitch fishing line or half hitched anything, you ever worked with horses, you know how to half hitch. And uh, half hitching is a great little survival technique for if you need to half hitch something around. Um, but great little thing you can do. Um, half hitching is great. I know I half hitch a lot of fish lines. When you take fishing bait and you put like a fish on the line and you have to half hitch the line around it, the Dacron, it works. So it's some, stuff to fool around with. Um, half hitching. It's still a work in progress, but I wanted to show you guys that, the top part. Um, it shouldn't really be an issue. Um, it's not going to come undone. And it's if you can see here, I may work on it a bit more, but this is this is a very first experiment. It hangs there, right? Your axe, you shouldn't have an issue. Um, I could take the uh, the uh, clasp off and put it up here onto the main thing, but I was like, I want to be able to if I need it in an emergency, I need to, somehow to get it off the clasp where I need to get it off the clasp. I can just un loosen this up. It's a huge, extra large clasp, or as I call it, not a clasp, but an extra large quick link. Keep calling it a clasp. It's a quick link. Um, I can get it off, but uh, extra large quick link works. It's not really going to be an emergency situation, I guess, but I guess what I'm saying is if in an emergency situation, you just pull it out. Um, but there's going to be so much going on in an emergency situation, you're just going to um have to worry about everything else and worry about first of all you got to worry about yourself make sure you're fine and then you got to figure out how to make a shelter and all that stuff and that's where the axe comes on i wanted to put the axe on the outside because i didn't want to i first thought you know i just throw it in there you know just slide on my sh sh uh, shoulder and throw it in there but then i realized well if i store it in there that's taking up some of the room with traps i got some pretty big traps i'm gonna carry around might try to fit them in here and it's gonna be a tight fit but that's okay because the way this is designed is a super strong pack and I'm going for strength and durability um, and everything about carrying animals out and all that stuff versus being able to put a bunch of traps in here. If I need to put a bunch of traps, I'll pull a um, little sled or 
care some buckets, but definitely your average shop's gonna fit in here. Um, the 330s, that, the oversized 330s I'm thinking about may not fit in here because they're oversized. They're not an average trap. Your average 330 is gonna fit in here and everything else is gonna fit in here. Um, so, you know, I'm working with something that's a 12 by 16, 11 by 12. This is about, I think it's 12 inch, 14 inches across. So it's gonna fit in there, but this 12 by 16 may not. It's not gonna fit, depending on how I angle it. Um, if I angle it long ways, it will. So I got a bunch of stuff to think about. I just wanna show you that quick thing. I was actually doing it on Instagram, and I was like, I better go make a review of this real quick. And, and um, that's it. Quick thing on there, it's hanging right there on my axe. I can put the pack on, and uh, it'll be fine. And since the way I got it in here right now, it's actually fixing my body. So if I really want to get snazzy, I'll turn it around and have it face the other way and make sure the axe head, what the, the pack's gonna do is keep the axe head facing away from me, towards the back, away from my back. So therefore, when I tighten it up, it actually, that's, I just found something out just doing this with you guys. But if I turn it away from me, that handle hits the back of the pack, the side of the pack that, uh, is towards your out towards the field and it will not hit you in the back so I just reverse that huge improvement just doing that right there and um, turn around like that slide the knot under here and there you go your axe is facing away from you and it is actually hitting the back of the pack so it's not hitting you in the arm so there you go perfect idea right there just just came up with that just saw it um, on the fly, turned around, and that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm not going to turn it the other way. Um, so I do it the other way, so it ends up hitting in the back. Perfect idea. Got to cut this off about, oh, two feet of it. Or, not two feet. Exaggeration, obviously. But about a foot of it. About that much. So I have something to work with in case the knot comes on none or something happens. Um, I'm going to take about four feet of the paracord, throw some in my pack, um, make sure I put it in a bag so if something ever happens with this knot or that, it breaks, I can always redo it in the field. Or the other option is just throw it in your pack. But sometimes you may not have room. Have a good one, guys.